Okay, we're gonna do a little video here on installing the Elliott flex shaft, flexible shaft, into the Elliott surface drive gearbox on a precision planting V-set seed meter. There's been a little bit of confusion and some questions have come up about installation of the Elliott flex shaft into the uh, Elliott surface drive gearbox after it's been installed onto a uh, precision plantings uh, V-set seed meter. We're, this video is just showing the installation. Typically this would be installed, your meter would already be installed on your, uh, your uh, corn planter, planter, whatever. You'd have hopper kits installed, vacuum lines, but uh, the process is going to be the same thing. You're going to be looking for the same things. In this case, it's just the meter by itself understanding typically this would not be how you'd be putting the sh when you would be putting the flexible shaft into the gearbox so first thing we're gonna have to do is uh, remove the dust cover the red cover and uh, that'll be just discarded or you can keep it if you need if you're gonna be taking the shafts off to service things you might want to put that uh, dust cover back in in place so the first thing is let's take a look at the flex shaft by itself up close so we understand what we're dealing with here. We have uh, an O-ring that creates a seal when it, this is installed properly into the gearbox. Then there's a couple grooves here on, on each side of the shaft and uh, a little locking groove where the, uh, the gearbox mechanism locks into the flex shaft or where the flex shaft locks into the gearbox couple finger tabs here to aid in uh, locking and unlocking the gearbox. In this case, the shaft is uh, completely dry. There's no lubrication here, but we recommend that some uh, petroleum jelly be installed on the uh, insertion area to allow it to go together better as well as create a better seal. So let's put some uh, uh, petroleum jelly on the flex shaft, typically like we would do prior to, or what we would recommend prior to installation. Now, once it's installed on the O-ring, you wanna take a look at the tip here. This is probably a real good idea to put some at the uh, insertion area of the groove. This will also aid in uh, the twist lock mechanism when you twist it. There is uh, another O-ring inside the gearbox here that comes in contact with this uh, chamfer area that should be also lubricated to aid in uh, snapping the ferrule into the surface drive gearbox. So go ahead and install that bill into the, the surface drive gearbox. You want to line up those little tabs, give it a, a nice firm push and then a twist and you're installed. This, uh, that, that includes the installation. It's a pretty easy process, but it's really important that you use the uh, petroleum jelly, lubricate that O-ring or uh, some, some standard overing lubrication makes it makes things go a lot easier. Thanks for watching.